guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Siobhan and welcome if you haven't already I'd love it if you went ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell that way you don't miss out any of my crazy wild story times or my makeup tutorials also if you haven't already look down below in the description box I have everything linked on my social media handles as well as my website www.twolavishhair.com where you can purchase this lovely body wave hair or my 3d make lashes so before we get started i know i've been gone for a while my face was doing all kinds of crazy stuff my skin was not cute honey it was not cute I had to do all kinds of facial masks <laughs> had to do a little therapy woo sign and all kinds of stuff no i'm joking that's a little too much no but i really had a breakout which i is crazy to me as an adult that you have adult acne but anyways i guess it's the stress from buying a home so we're in the process of finalizing buying a home so it's been extremely stressful so i'm assuming that's why my face broke out but you know what i'm back hopefully y'all can't see my imperfections right now <laughs> anyways this is the look that i came up with and if y'all like to see how i created it go ahead and stay tuned so the first thing we're going to start out with is our scotch tape and we're going to take a small piece of this, stick it to the back of our hand. And I like to do it twice, that way it doesn't, well, that way it's not too tacky and it doesn't damage this under eye skin. Seeing that the under eye skin is the most sensitive and the thinnest skin on your face. So I'm going to go ahead and place this. Once we get that on there, we're going to use our primer. Well, okay, it's not a primer. I take that back. I'm telling lies. We're going <laughs> to we're going to use our HD LA Girl concealer, and I'm going to use the color medium beige. So, we're going to add that all over the lid. Well, we're going to put a few uh, little dots and then we're going to move it around on the lid. So, I'm just going to put mm, that looks about good. And then I'm going to make my concealer brush and I'm just going to move it around on the lid. Go ahead and carve out the brow or clean it up just a tad. And then work this all around. What I like to do is kind of spread it out with my brush and then take my my ring finger and kind of just pat it around smooth it out some so today we're going to be using my 42 color ultimate matte palette by bh cosmetics is one of my favorite palettes i think everybody should own one and the first shade we're going to pick up is now don't judge me because this palette's a little dusty because I use her a lot. So don't judge me. Okay, don't judge me. So, <laughs> so we're going to go in with this shade here first. And we're going to pack this brush. I'm not even going to tap it off this time because we want to add a nice little light layer on the lid. So that way we have a smooth surface. So I'm just dusting this all over the lid. Just to give us a nice smooth surface. And once I get that shade on there, we're going to go in with this shade here, which is a little bit lighter than the shade we first applied. And then we're going to work most of that on the main part of the lid. So we're going to get all that color here first. I'm going to dust it under the eye. Continue adding it to the main part lid, and then we're going to pull that up. And that's going to smooth everything out nicely. So now that we have a nice, smooth, soft surface, we're going to go in with our liquid eyeliner. And I like to use the Revlon's Color Stay Blackout with the fine tip. I believe that's what it is, the fine tip one. 
And I'm just gonna follow the tape. I'm gonna follow the tape and then come across the lid. So while we let the liner dry, we're gonna pick up a flat angled brush. We're gonna grab this black here, and we're gonna tight line the entire lower lash line. Now we're gonna take another flat brush and we're gonna pick up this shade here. We're gonna add that right in the lower corner here. So we're just gonna pack that right along here. Also gonna take that same color and we're gonna add it right above the black liner we just laid down. We're just gonna follow the edge of that. And we're only gonna bring this to the center of the eye. So right about there. We're gonna somewhat try to get it straight. But even if it's not perfect, it's all right. Don't worry about it, don't think too much about it. Okay, so that looks good right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull the tape off. So next we're gonna pick up our small tapered brush, grab some of this black here, and we're just gonna add that underneath the lashes. Kind of smoke it out a little bit. And then we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush and really smoke it out. So we're gonna soften all the edges up now. Okay, now once we get that done, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that concealer again. Uh, the LA Girl Pro Concealer High Definition in the color Medium Beige. And we're just going to brighten up the under eye a little bit more. Just a squeeze just a tad. And put a few marks there. Get the sponge. I'm going to work this out. We're just cleaning up any fallout from the eyeshadow. And once we get that nice and smooth, go ahead and go in with Morphe's Banana Rich Bacon Set Powder, my small little sponge, and pick up a little bit of that. You don't want to get too much though. And then we're just going to press it down like that. Come back behind that with my fluffy brush, and we're just going to dust that out a little bit. And that's going to brighten the underneath of the eye back up. Now we're going to pick up Becca's Opal. And we're going to add that right to the teardrop area of the eye, which is right here. And that's just to brighten the eye area up just a tad. Open the eye up. Give us that awake look. So we're just going to add that right here. After that, we're going in with our mascara. We're just gonna lightly hit the upper lashes. Cause we're gonna we're gonna do lashes a little bit different today, not like I normally do them. So, gonna lightly add to the top lashes, and we're gonna go ahead and go a, a tad bit heavy on the lower lashes. Okay, so the lashes I'm pairing with this look today are my Nadia's, and this is what she looks like.
So this is Nadia. She's the flirty lash of the collection. She gives you that length. She's great for daytime. You can also wear it into the evening. If you like to purchase a pair of Nadia's, she's listed down below and you can click on the link www.twolavishhair.com and you can purchase her there. Let's go ahead and apply her and complete this look. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and set her down and find our placement. We'll go ahead and semi-secure her down on the inner part of the lid. And then we're going to set her down at the back of the lid. So usually y'all are used to me pushing down the front and lifting up the back. So, but what we're going to do with this, since we have pretty much a double liner look going on, I want to go ahead and secure her before the adhesive uh, settles. Make sure I have her where I want her at. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push her down all the way across. She's going to lay low today. She's going to lay low. She low riding it. And it also gives you kind of a low-key sultry look. You see these eyes? They look sultry, honey. I think they look sultry. So, um, yeah. And that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this eyeshadow tutorial. Uh, don't forget to look down below in the description box. I have changed a few things, a few makeup items, a few colors or hues, and they will be listed down below in the description box. Also, don't forget to go over to my social media on Instagram, Siobhan.Richie, as well as my, oh, I'm a TikToker. I, I plan on making more videos. I just haven't got to it yet. It's been so cold outside. I want to show y'all my jump rope tricks. I'm a jump rope ninja, honey. Jump rope ninja. So, I'm just... <laughs> So don't forget to go over to Instagram and follow me there. That way you'll know when I'm having discounts on my website, www.twolavishhair.com. And you'll know what the discounts are and if you need a discount code. Also, don't forget to look down below in the description box. I have all the makeup linked down there as well as all my social media handles. And I will see y'all guys next time. Bye.